Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com where we've got easy cheap land priced 50 to 80% below the competition. Today I've got up for sale 20 acres near Zizix, partway between Barstow and Baker, California off the 15 Southern California. Let's go to Google Earth to zoom in on this. First let's zoom out so we can see where we're at and then zoom back in and show you kind of a round trip. So this is Southern California, you can see Baja to the south, you can see Los Angeles here. Um, Las Vegas is up this way somewhere, and uh, or sorry, up, up this way. And uh, as we zoom in, let's see this property. Here's Las Vegas. Los Angeles, Las Vegas, the property is in between. There's nobody around this area. You can have the whole whole area to yourself. Make all kinds of noise, off-road, play with your toys, shoot your guns, live your life without anybody bothering you. So let's look at some of the pictures of the area that people have taken. That's probably your closest neighbor after a rainstorm, it says. There's this weird megaphone on top of the mountain in the area. This gives you an idea of the, the hills next to the valley. Like Theoretically, the property could be out in one of these, these valleys. There's a picture of the landscape from a couple different directions. Let's zoom in some more. So there's this road here called... Uh, Curacao Road and this one goes north to the 15 and I'm not exactly sure where it goes to the south but I think you can get down to the 40 if you take it far enough south let me zoom out I think, it, I think it goes down to the 40 so just off to the west of Curacao Road there's also what appears to me to be an old railroad bed um, I think you can drive on that um, I'm not 100% sure, but this desert patch off to the side of that railroad bed next to Curacao Road is 20 acres of property that's for sale. So there's some bush and there's some pretty wide open vacant um, land. You can drive around and take a look at this thing. It's just to the south of this turn off. Um, there's, it looks like the little house that was in the picture. I'll try to show you better property lines we go to some other other uh, other places I want to show you this one so this is Google Earth or sorry Google Maps if you put the uh, GPS coordinates that I'll put below in the comments or the section below this video um, you can cut and paste them and put them into Google Maps and you can pull up um, this property map so here's the lines of the property it's not exactly north south east west lines but if you click on the corners of this in Google Maps, you can get the GPS coordinates of the exact corners where this, this property is. And that'll get you really darn close to what the property lines are on this property. It's not as good as a survey, but it's free and easy and a good tool to use. Um, if you look at this thing on uh, you know, satellite image, this railroad, I bet you the railroad, there's a little bit of an easement there, I would guess, and then this property happens. So you're running right along an old railroad bed. It, it, I'm really sure there's no railroad there anymore, but it's, it's an old one that uh, used to run through the area. I think the tracks have been taken up. So that's that's the area. If we go and we look at prices, I'm asking $4,900 for this property cash. $4,900 cash. So I went and I searched on Landwatch. What else is for sale in the area? This property is off the Zizix exit. There's I couldn't find anything for sale around Zizix. But uh, Barstow, which covers a big piece of this area to the west, or Baker to the east, so I searched both of them for you. And I looked at Barstow and I narrowed it in. Um, they've got a section on here where you can do 11 to 50 acres. This is 20 acres, so it's kind of in that, that tranche of land sizes. And I sorted them from price low to high. So the cheapest of anything I could find around Barstow is this $10,000 20 acres in Hinkley. Um, here's another 10,000 20 acres in Barstow. 
and then they go up from there, 15,000 for 20 acres. $4,900, what I'm asking, is just below half of the cheapest of anything I can find out there. Um, if we go to Baker, Baker's got less stuff for sale. Um, there's there's my picture, that's, that's another one I had around Baker that just sold. Um, but that was the cheapest of anything out there, 17 acres at $3,900. I mean, look at the next one. The next cheapest thing out there is 40 acres for $60,000. So if you took a half of that for a 20 acre equivalent, it'd be $30,000. I mean, it's multiples of the $4,900 I'm asking for this 20 acres. Um, I think it's $4,900 is less than half of any comparables out there that are still for sale. This one's not still for sale. So moving on. We just, just looked at that. So where are we in compared to supplies? I like to look up Home Depot because I'm at Home Depot so often the people there get to know me by name. <laughs> I'm always building something. So that's what I look for. How far away is it from Home Depot? If you buy land, theoretically, you're going to build something on it, whether it's a fence or a house or a who knows what, right? You're probably getting some supplies at Home Depot. Um, <clears throat> so the closest Home Depot is one hour 48 minutes is what Google pulled up and it's the one in uh, in Barstow and there's also Walmart grocery stores gas stations everything else 68 miles a lot of that time is on these country bumpkin roads between the 15 and the actual property um, just off this Crusoe Road um, so you know 68 miles on this stretch of the 15 you can floor it um, you know there's legal limits but traffic flies through here most of the time if you go a little north you get to Baker you can get gas there so the gas stations a lot closer than going to to uh, Barstow and there's, there's a good restaurant there is the Greek burrito and I like to eat there when I'm in the area um, what else we've got uh, Walmart same kind of distance hour 47 65 miles to Walmart get all kinds of supplies there. Las Vegas, so if you go east up the 15 or north up the 15, Vegas is 116 miles away. It's two and a half hours if you follow the speed limit. Um, Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles. If you're coming from LA, you can probably come from somewhere else than downtown, but to reference it to downtown, um, you know, 180 miles three hours three and a half hours it's a weekend trip I used to do trips like that for the weekend all the time as a kid um, there's a lake not too far away from this property it's not on the property or bordering it or anything but this is the tourist attraction if you get off at Zizix off the 15 there's an old spa that used to be here um, and they got a children of the corn looking swing set kind of looks spooky to me but <laughs> you know it's uh we got a swing set there and they've got this lake with these palm trees around it and now that I know about this next time I'm through that area I definitely want to stop and see this but it's a uh, it's a dry desert to have a lake in the area is, is kind of interesting so that's just the local tourist center tourist stop there's also a, a California State University um, campus there where people study um, desert studies and you're right next to the Mojave um, National Preserve and this turnoff of the freeway, the Zizix turnoff is the main turnoff where people get off to go on the Mojave uh, four-wheel drive route, the Mojave Road they call it and this is like the old road that people used to take back in the day to cross this part of the country to settle in the west and so there's a lot of history of this trail but now it's not paved or anything it's used as an off-road um, extravaganza so you can go drive this thing rally car style or dirt bike or you know four by four truck or four wheeler or whatever um, I think you actually have to be street legal vehicles but there's off-roading all over this area is my point and so people come here to go drive off-road this particular trail you need your turn signal and stuff but pretty much everywhere else I think you just go for it and I doubt anyone's gonna ever say anything um, so I googled Mojave National Preserve because this property is right next to Mojave National Preserve and this is a park that's been set aside and 
the beauty of this landscape um, allowed it to become a park and so people have gone camping here and looking at the stars and hiking and everything else and they like to look at the holes that people dug in the rocks back in the day and uh, there's these lava tubes that they like to hike I'll find some pictures of those somewhere um, here you go You've probably seen pictures of these lava tubes where people go in and get these dramatic pictures of the sun shining through. But they like to explore that. There's rabbits and birds and deer and just beautiful countryside that's different than most everywhere else. So people like to visit this and enjoy this part of the country. And this is right next to the property that we have for sale. This is Mojave National Preserve. This is a park where you probably hardly, hardly ever see anybody. You can have the place to yourself. So I pull, also pulled up the taxes on this property in mytaxcollector.com. You can look up taxes on these kinds of properties. And so the bill is due twice a year, half half year payment. The next payment is April 11th, 2016. And they're charging $15.56. And after that, next bill is December 15th. And if they keep the same numbers, they usually adjust them a little bit every year. But, you know, you get an idea off of that. That's like 30 one dollars or three you know just over thirty dollars a year in taxes for 20 acres of land in southern california i think that's a sweet cheap tax bill so on the last note if you go to my website ruralvacantland.com and you're interested in this property or any other like them that, I'm, that i've listed or have coming up it's a good idea to sign up. Um, I've got a deal going right now. I'll give you $100 off any non-auction purchases in 2016. Basically, if you sign up to my website to hear about properties that I have up for sale, um, I'll give you $100 off you know, this one. If you're trying to buy this one, you can get $100 off of this one or $100 off the next one or the next however many you want to buy this year. Um, and I think if you like this one or you're looking for land like this, that'd be a good idea to see what else is coming up. I've got, I believe I've got a bunch more in the pipeline. So I hope to see your name come through on the subscribe and I hope to hear from you because you want to buy this property. Thank you for listening.